Hello and welcome. It is time once again to try to fix something, of course. And this time it is another PS5 no power. And this actually is a no power. They didn't lie this time. So, no power PS5. I rarely see those. But uh, she's in really good shape. A little dust in the vents. But yeah. So, uh, let me get the covers off and let's just see how bad it looks under the covers. All right, well, she has been opened before, obviously, but at least they had the decency to put all the screws back, as long as they put them back in the right place. But, uh, okay, let's get into this thing and see if the, uh, just a simple power supply issue. All right, the side cover is off, and yeah, somebody's definitely been in here. There were there were two screws in the wrong place. There was that one and one up here. They had, somebody had uh, crossed those up, but uh, that shouldn't have done any damage. Yeah, I may have messed up the threads down in this hole, but um, and I can see the tape's been torn on that uh, coax cable. So yeah, somebody's been in here. I'm not sure if they've been all the way down to the circuit board or not. Um, let's see. I'll see if I can get this power supply out, and let's just check it. Check the simple things first. Well, it does appear our power supply is just fine, unless it's dying under a load. Which is possible, but not likely. So, yeah, need to turn our attention to the main board. Well, the PCB is out, and quite the nice dry spot on that APU. Yep, I don't doubt it was having some overheating issues. All right, here we are inside at the workbench, and ready to take a look at this EDM20 board. Um, I think I'm going to start out by checking its current draw. You can see I've got my leads connected to my power supply. So for 12 volts, one amp, and I'm going to use my uh, current probe here to uh, sample the current draw through the lead and see what it shows on the scope over here. How's that sound? Turning it on now. Wow. I've never seen that before. Turn that off. Huh, I wonder if we can zoom into that. That looks like, like a power supply coming up and shutting down really, really fast. That's exactly what that looks like. I've never seen that before. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we have a short somewhere, pretty obviously. It's not, not a direct on the 12 volt rail, I don't think. I think I checked that out in the garage. But a, uh, a short someplace else. Okay, let's see if we can find it. All right. Uh, probably should have cleaned my bench up a little bit. But we will get by. Continuity mode is your friend. Much like diode mode. Uh, let's see if we can short these leads out. Well, continuity mode. Short my leads out and null that out. All right. So, what do we have a short on? I know we got a short somewhere. Is it on the 5 volt rail? Uh, okay. I'll keep looking. No, seriously. Right on the 5 volt rail. Hmm. So, where is it? Is it one of these USB capacitors again? Could be. Uh, is it over here around this? Um, well, it's either the Rich Tech or the Dialog I see. Uh, which you'll still measure a short there. That's kind of the problem. You'll measure the short everywhere. So I can inject and see what gets hot. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let me figure out how I want to try to find this. All right, what I think I'm going to try to use is this little um, milliohm adapter I've built up. Um, you can find these online if you look for milliohm meters. It's basically a 100 milliamp current source in, inside of here. Uh, I'm connected to a bench supply up here, putting five volts into it. You can run it off a battery if you wanted to. And some people use a separate display for them, but I'm just using my meter. And you can see basically the conversion. 
10 milliohm shows one millivolt of resist of a, a voltage and I've got meter in millivolts and let me uh, well, I'll kind of demonstrate for you how this thing works so I've got it hooked up and running you can see your thing this is a uh, as an example this is a 0.27 ohm resistor if I measure across it yep, I get right at 27 millivolts that would be you know 27 times 10 million I'd be 270 milli ohms so that would be right okay so this is putting out 100 milliamps of current which is more than a, you know, most meters can put out most than that's more than they can usually source so it's kind of aimed at finding low resistances let me get this board around here if I can get everything in the shot okay so we know we have a short on our 5 volt rail can we narrow it down any um, Let's go right here to the, this is the uh, inductor for the 5 volt DC DC converter. Get everything in there. And I'm going to pick a ground point real close to this. And I'll go right to that coil. Let me get 5, yep, 5 millivolts, which would be 50 milliohms. Let's go across this USB capacitor right here. I'm going to go right across it because it's ground on one side and the 5-volt uh, rails on the other. If I go right there, what am I getting? 7? Seven? 70 milliohms. And if I go to this next one right over here, ooh, 2.3 milliohms. Or 2.3 millivolts, I should say. That would be 23 milliohms. So that is our lowest point at this point. What if I go over here to these um, capacitors over here? And I'm picking a ground real close by. I, got, I could go right across these things, couldn't I? Yeah, like um, I'm trying to see to turn it the right way. Like yeah, this is 5 volts going in to this uh, DC-DC converter over here. And the other side should be ground. What do we have here? If I can get on it. 10 millivolts, so it'd be roughly 200 milliohms. What about across this other one right over here? Mm, 11 and a half, 11 milliohms. Uh, a, a millivolts, I keep saying it. So that is 11 times 10, 110 milliohms. So our winner is still this USB capacitor right here at 20 or 23 milliohms so I'm going with this capacitor uh, let's take a look at it under the microscope if I can wake my microscope up get where I can see what it sees that's my biggest issue is making sure I can see what it sees and it sees what I see there it goes now it has awakened from its slumber uh, right in here okay it looks kind of normal make sure it's in the shot there okay Let's zoom on into it. I'll get it back into focus. Whoa, what's that on the bottom right corner? Yep, we have a crack. Okay. Uh, I can't remember if that's the same capacitor that failed last time. I mean, I, I know I've done one of these recently and it was a USB capacitor. I can't remember if it was the left or the right one, but anyway, I'm going with that capacitor right there. So, yeah, the millimeter did not lie. Let me see if I can uh, get this changed out. Might as well zoom back out so we're not shaking quite so much. Where is my flux? Where is my hot air? Here it is. So 
let me go ahead and hit that with a little bit of solder just to lower that melting point a little so it comes off that much easier Finally. Got a nice ground plane there though. Do I have a donor? Look overhead right here. Grab a board. Yep, I see I've taken one of these. But I'll take the other. Okay, I'm going to turn my hot air up. My hot air is only at 420. So it's a bit of a fight to get some of these things off. Because it's got quite the uh, ground plane. Where'd it go? Ah, there it is. It didn't go far. I caught it. Okay. You can step aside. And I have already made a place for this one. I think I will angle the board a little. Just to make it a little more comfortable for my hand. Oop, don't do it. at least as good as factory. Now I have not confirmed that my short is gone, but I'm pretty sure it's gone. I doubt very seriously that that capacitor had a crack in it that was somehow still good. Let's see what we have now. Do we have... Let me check continuity mode. Do we have a short? 
We do not. All right. Okay, I think we're good. Let me, you know, do something about this uh, liquid metal. It looks atrocious there. We'll be ready to test this out there in the garage. Well, here we are back out in the garage. I've got this assembled just enough to test, I think. Yeah, fan's a little dirty. I haven't cleaned it yet. Let's just see if she will turn on. There we go. Okay. So yet another uh, shorted 5-volt rail at the USB uh, power supply. So, yeah, that's an all-too-common thing. But anyway, uh, we found it. Well, I hope you thought that was somewhat interesting educational. I'm, not, I'm just going to end this one right here. I mean, I've got some cleanup to do. You don't want to see all that. Okay. That would be a different language than I understand. But I hope you liked it. Thought it was somewhat interesting. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the very next repair. So long for now. There it goes.